Hello and welcome to another Hades tutorial. In this uh, video we're going to be making this signature here. It's a little bit different um, and we'll be using another stock for people that uh, don't like using renders. So um, you can use nearly any image you want for this really. And uh, it's pretty easy to do and I hope you enjoy it. And remember if you do enjoy it, subscribe and like the videos. It helps me and you get to see my new videos in the future. So let's get to it. So we'll make our new document and we'll choose a width of 450 and a height of 175. Uh, then I'm going to bring in my stock. This one here. I'll supply all the resources in this video in the link in the description on YouTube if you want to follow along. And place in that, that into your document. And I'm going to size it down now. Place it. okay there and now I'm going to bring in a texture this one here place this in on top now and I'm going to size this down looks okay there and drag this layer now on underneath your stock now you see your stock uh, has lots of white there, you don't want that, so I'm going to change the layer style of this to um, darken. And you'll see now that his face is covered in the texture as well, but you don't want that. So we go to our texture layer now, and we'll add this, click this little button to add a mask, and we'll get a brush. And with a flow of 75, and make sure it's black, and the hardness in around 68, 70, and the size around 40. And we'll just brush over the the guy's face and his body and you'll see them pixels are, of the texture are been taken away like that now if you think see I took too much there so I'm going to change the brush to white now and I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to brush them pixels back in like that So you line up with this here. Now I'm going to bring in some wireframes. Um, let's try these here. That one there looks okay. And I'm going to drag that in. And change it to multiply. Move this around then until you're happy with the way it looks. Looks okay there. And again, you see he's covered there, so we're gonna mask this now as well. So you got a black brush, click on your mask too, and brush off what's on top of him. I'm just gonna bring it over a little bit more. Don't want all this this side. A different window. And I'll use this one over there. Change this to multiply as well. And move it around. Looks alright there. And again, mask off any bits that's over the stock. I'm just going to move around my texture a little bit. It's too bright over here.
Da. Then we're going to add a little shape. So we go to our top layer and then we make a new layer on top of it. And then we grab our shape tool and we we'll choose make the sides three. And click and drag and it'll make a triangle. Looks okay there. And then move this around. And rotate it if you want, if you need to. It's all right there. Now I'm going to rasterize that layer. So you can do that by right clicking the layer and then click rasterize and you see it become a normal layer then. And I'm going to duplicate it now. Now you go into the blending options of this, so double click that layer and then you can go color overlay and I'm going to change this to black. And zoom in now and get your move tool and make sure show transform controls is ticked and then we're going to size this down a little bit. That looks okay now. Now, press and hold control now and click on the thumbnail of that layer, and it will select that um, triangle. Now, we go to a bottom polygon layer with the, the triangle layer and press backspace on your keyboard. What that will do now will get rid of them pixels that's in that uh, layer. So, if you hide that layer, the, the black uh, triangle, you'll see you're left with that triangle, and the middle is taken out. Now we're going to hide that for a second and make a new layer on top of it and apply the image. So we go image, apply image, and OK. And I unhide that layer we got now and right click on the applied image layer and click create clip mask. And move this around now. You'll see that it only applies to the triangle. So right there. So, now select these two layers now. So press and shift. You can when one layer is highlighted, click on the other layer, and the two of them will be um, selected. Then right click and click duplicate layers like that, and click OK. Now we're going to move this one around. So we'll put it over here probably. Uh, I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. So click on Show Transform Controls and press and shift. Click on the corner and drag it. Make it smaller that. I'm going to put this one here, uh, but I'm going to move around the applied image because you don't want it the same, like that. Looks okay there. Um, we're going to use another triangle now, so we'll go back to our bottom ones again, and we're going to do the exact same thing. Select the two layers, and then duplicate them. And I'll move this one probably where I put it, probably it here. And I'm going to make, click on the triangle layer, and make this a little bit smaller, leaving the clip mask okay. Like that. I'll go to our clip mask then, and just move it around. Looks okay there. I'm actually going to just duplicate this now and bring one more triangle over this side. Where'd I put it? So put it there. And I'm going to make this one a little bit smaller now. Like that. So you line up with something like this here. Now, we're going to add some light, so we make a new layer on top of all your layers and make black. And we'll set this to linear dodge. And we get a white brush now. So we increase the size to about 300. And make sure it's a soft brush. And put in our light. Like that. Now it's time for some shading. So we make a new layer, um, which is a black brush this time, and then go in our edges like that. And we can lower the opacity of this a little bit until you are happy with 
No shit. Now I'm gonna add some um, fractally bubbles. Or just give it a little bit of color. So drag that in and we'll set this to linear dodge. Again, all these resources will be in the downloadable file on YouTube. And I don't want that in his face, so I'm just going to mask it off. So we've got a mask to that there. And I don't like the color of them, so I'm going to make a new layer on top of it. But it's going to be an adjustment layer. So we click this little icon and then we go hue and saturation. And then we right click that layer and, and click create clip and mask. Then you can move your hue over here and change it around until you're happy with the color. That's not too bad there. Now I'm going to duplicate these two layers and move the other one around. Looks okay there. Now I'm just going to mask off a little bit in this here. Now we're going to go down now to our stock layer and we we'll make a new layer underneath it and we get our brush tool and I'm going to choose the flow, I set the flow to 100% and I have a couple of like small like subtext brushes that I'm just going to add in the background, like something like that there, see it's a little bit of text and you don't want to cover in the man's arm right and so if you have any cover in it again just mask it off like that. I'm going to add one or two of these, so make a new layer. Just keep adding them in the background. Like that. Now when you're happy we have enough text in the background, I'm going to go back up to our top layer now and make a new layer on top of it and apply the image. To apply an image you go click an image and then apply image and then just click OK and it'll just merge all the layers into one. Now I'm going to go filter, filter gallery and then choose angle strokes with direction balance of 47, a stroke length of 11 and a sharpness of 3 and click OK. Uh, it's a bit too strong now, but so we're going to just lower the opacity a little bit, about 50%, and then mask it. So we're going to click the icon for mask and then get our brush. And choose a soft brush now. Of around 60 pixels, and lower the flow to about 50%. And then just go over our focal and brush over it to get rid of any of the stuff that looks too strong. And I'm actually going to brush a little bit off that triangle as well. So you want that triangle to kind of stand out for us a little bit as well. Anywhere you think looks a bit too strong, just brush over. Like that. Now I'm going to add some gradient maps. So we click on our adjustment layer icon over here and click on gradient map. And the first one is going to be black to white. And I'm going to change it to luminosity and lower the opacity to about 60%. And again, we have another gradient map. This time we will um, choose a magenta purple, or magenta orange, sorry, and set this to lighten. And then um, just lower it a little bit, just about 80, 80 70, 
75. Now again, not a gradient map, and this time I'm going to choose like a really dark blue. It's if you're wondering, it's zero three zero five double one, and click OK, and up here I'm going to choose like a cyan color, really bright cyan. It is D five F. E double F. And click OK then, and uh, we'll set this to lighten. Nearly finished now, so we make a new layer on top of that and apply the image, and then we're going to go filter, filter gallery, and into our artistic settings, and choose paint dubs, and with the brush size set to one, the brush size sorry set to one, and the sharpness to one, and click OK. And you see it kind of sharpens things up a little bit, but if it's too sharp, we can do go edit and fade filter gallery and lower it down it's about 35 looks okay for me and now I'm going to add a little bit of text okay these and place it in there and lower this size about 24 and with our paint dubs layer, we can click on that now and duplicate it. And then bring it above our text layer. And right click that layer now and go create clip mask. And move it around. Now don't worry if you can't see it. Because you can double click on the layer now and it'll bring up your blending options. And I'm going to add a little shadow to it. Not too much, I'm going to increase the size of it and lower the opacity. And I'm going to add a stroke to it. And I'm going to set the stroke to 1 and lower the opacity to about 50%. And I'm just going to duplicate these two layers for a little bit of subtext. And just write tutorials. And lower the size down. Like that. Now we make a new layer on top of them. There's two more layers now, and then we're done. And I'm going to blow it a tiny bit. So we'll go filter, blow, and then blow. And we'll add a mask to this now and erase our focus and our text and our triangles last layer now and it's just going to be a sharpen layer so we'll filter sharpen sharpen and I'm going to lower this a good bit because we already had it quite sharp earlier and to about 20 and that's how you make this tag so that's it guys that's the end of the video remember that the resources are there if you want to follow that along and uh, if you did enjoy it remember to subscribe as well and catch my new videos so thanks for watching bye bye